Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here in my beautiful garden where we've got the plum tree behind us and we've got a wonderful little pine looking at us wondering if we might have some zombie jerky or pig's ear in our pockets to share with him. And today my friends, we are going to be looking at something amazing. Something that took my breath away and just totally made me realize the amazing potential of the creativity and the hard work that the people of our server are willing to do. And so we're going to go take a peek at something that Ben has built over at his house in just a moment. But I want to do a couple things before we head over because I want to take some presents over to Ben. And that's kind of a tricky thing. Anasia, I'm so happy to share berries and I'm happy to share dodo eggs with. And Nirene loves fishing. And you know, like Wynn can always use some help making sure the defenses are set up in her area. But Ben is kind of tricky because I thought, oh, I'll take him some tea leaves. But the fact of the matter is he has a million of those tea bushes. And so I thought more on it. And we're going to go down Pine and we are going to go trade with our Peafowl Cafe. So we're going to make some money. Uh, oh, actually, they eat Geishel Greens. Yes. Oh, darling. Oh, my gosh. Mwah. Hello, darling. He never comes down here. Mwah. Mwah. There you go. Take that. So many kisses. So many kisses. But yeah, he never comes down here. So that startled me. I guess he's just having a happy walk in my little garden. Oh, I'm so happy to share it with him. But all right, we're going to go down and we are going to trade with the Peafowl Cafe so we can gather lots of the yummy things that they sell and share them with our wonderful friend, Ben. And I probably need to... Oh, oh, you know what? You're not hungry enough to justify feeding you an entire chicken. I know, I know, that's disappointing to me too. But you can come with me, Pine. How about that? Yeah, who's a happy puppy now? Who's a happy puppy now? All right, where's your brother, Ash? I kind of... Oh, hey, Ash! You want to come? Let's see. Let me see if I can find a stick because I need to have him join us with a stick. All right. And there you go. All right. Come on, Ash. You can come too. Come on, you two. And actually, you guys came up with an amazing idea for Holly. We need to move. Hey, Holly girl. To let Holly kind of wander the area and be able to pick up all the eggs that go in corners when she's not in that corner. We need to let Holly be set to wandering inside of the little pen because she is collecting eggs. That's why Holly is in there. She is our egg collecting puppy right now. Also, Sunny, you're getting pushed out by the other chickens. Let me take off my little flower headband so you guys don't go nutter butters. But she uh, is just sitting and kind of getting pushed around right now. So if we change her to being standing up and wandering, she should have better luck. Um, I'm not sure. I kind of want to put a food bowl in there for her, but I've destroyed two of the food bowls in the yard by accident. So hang on. Sunny. No, Sunny. All right. I, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, look who's wearing the flower headband. That's right. I am irresistible to chickens. Come here. Come here, Sunny. Come on. All right. Come on. Oh, I'm irresistible to Darling, too. Look at that. No, darling, you put, you, darling, why? I guess he wants Sunny for his own. He just pushed Sunny. Like, I need to... Where'd Sunny go? All right, I need my, my safari nut. All right, don't follow me, guys. Oh, goodness. Darling! Darling, are you... Darling! Jeez, okay, I got Sunny. I don't know why he was pushing Sunny so hard. That's kind of funny. All right, let's get inside here. There we go. Sunny, you're back where you belong. Let's check on the bee. No, she's not used up. I just haven't been in the area very long. I know she looks it, but she's actually on like dark, dark yellow. All right, and Holly, I'm going to free up a little bit of room in here. The bee will love being in here, I think, because there's going to be plenty and plenty and plenty of flowers. See, rose red, ro or I should say uh, red poppy. There we go. Already back on the job, getting the flowers put down. All right, Holly, I need you to hold on to these until we're ready. And I'm going to let you wander. And there you go, Holly. So she'll wander in this area and kind of keep it uh, all picked up so that any of the eggs that the, the chickens drop, she will pick up. And then when we need eggs, we can go speak with her. And she's a very nurturing dog, so I think that this makes her super duper happy. All right, so let's see. I've got to put away some of the meat stuffs. And oh, let's go pick the lettuce. Fresh lettuce from our garden. If it's ready. Hello, Agent Noodles. Who seems content to stay there. Nope, dang it. Thank you, Ash. I needed that lettuce to feed our um, to feed our peafowl, but thank you. All right, let's pick this before the dogs get over here. There we go. Ha ha ha. Ash, don't jump. Don't don't jump on that, please. Let's see. Do I have peas? Because the peafowl also likes steamed peas. There we go. So we can make some steamed peas real quick. 
and let's go feed the peafowl and that will let us collect quite a few Let's see, what, how's the recipe for, uh, quite a few zookeeper experience, then we can go to the ATM, trade the zookeeper experience in for coins, and then get a whole bunch of awesome coins to share with Ben. Oh, and we're, we were told we have to wear a cherry kimono that I tucked up in my uh, bedroom, in the, the chest in my bedroom, when we go. So, that is, that is a request. Alright, so there is the pot, and here are the peas. Ooh, that makes stock, but we don't need stock, we need, I don't have any water, dang it. Where is a bucket? I need to leave a kitchen bucket in here, and I keep taking my kitchen buckets. Alright, let's get this. There we go. And actually, I think this will work. Fresh water. And... See, you can empty your buckets into little cups, so it's like you're measuring out cups of fresh water. Oh, I love cooking, and this is gonna be so fun. I really want to take him a present, because when you guys see what he made, like, you know, you'll understand why I feel like we need to go with a gift of some kind. All right, puppies are wandering around. Oh, the cooking oil is done processing. And I'm out of salt, darn it. All right, let's put the cooking oil away. Um, oh, I don't have cooking oil yet, so that's a good thing. There. All right, and I guess I need my bucket again. Come here, bucket. All right, need my bucket. And we'll have to make a little bit of fresh water. We really, oh, Mara actually has invited us, which I'm so excited about, to go mining later this week. So we might go on a nice little picnic mining adventure with Mara, which would be so fun. All right, let's take these out. Aha. And salt. So now it's fresh water, peas, and salt, and steamed peas. Ta-da. Do do do, wash the little pot. Where my little, the trails of my little vines right here are kind of dabbing into the sink there. Very cute. And it sounds like Nightlock is on the essence berries yet again. All right, and we've got some coins in here and some emerald coins. So I'm going to take a few of those and we'll trade them in. And the Zookeeper Experience and we'll trade it in. And I'm going to put away, oh, I should probably put away the mangrove saplings so that I don't lose those into the plant sorting shed. Also, I love the sprinklers. They're just so freaking cool. All right, so you go here, you go here. Come along, pup pups. Ash, he's such, he's such a certain kind of puppy, Ash, because he likes jumping, like, on my plants. He likes to push the buttons, that one. All right, I see deep freeze. We'll put away these things. And egg basket, put away this. And hello, Primrose. I really should move this open flame off of my, my floor, don't you think? All right, and then let's suit up because we are going to be headed into into the wilderness, uh, Ash. Wilderness, wilderness. All right. What I mean to say is night is coming. All right, and here we go. I should have taken the water. I should have taken the waterfall, but I didn't, so that's okay. Hello, Astro Seed. All right. Ooh, and the mushrooms are spreading. I guess I could take them some mushroom gardens. It's a bit of an odd gift, but one I'm happy to bestow. It does sound like something I would do too. Here, have some mushroom gardens. Enjoy. All right. And up we go. <laughs> and there's still that panda around here somewhere too. So we're gonna go down and get some delicious food so that Ben can sample what the Peafowl Cafe has to offer. Because we've been talking quite a lot about economy and things that we could sell on the server, um, and so on and so forth. So what better way to show that off? Dun 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 dun. Ooh, and oh my gosh, look at all the sugar. Sugar cane, sugar cane, come here, sugar cane. Oh yeah, really need you. Oh my, it's so dark over here. I really need some torches, because this is not good to have so much dark. There we go. All right, sheep sheep, you look kind of you look kind of scary in the darkness. Not gonna lie. You don't look like a sheep sheep. Do I not have my chisel on me? Oh dear. Pine, even though you're descended from Tate the Fantastic Fisher Dog, I don't think you have your father's capabilities. <laughs> And fishing, which is really ironic because Tate actually has the most fishing uh, points out of any of the dogs. He just honestly can't fish. Like, he drowns every time. It's sort of, I know, Tate, it's very sad. All right, let me put the chisel away. And I should probably get, there we go, 
a sword out just in case. And don't mind me. Whew. All right. And we're going to come along here. And I'm going to put down another torch. There we go. Just kind of light this area up. So hopefully it won't be so terrifying in the dark like this. Like this. For this reason. Right here. Oh, spider on the head. Good job, puppies! All right. Oh, look, it's where we're going to put our future freshwater ray. I'm surprised at how many people are so excited about the idea. Like, I knew, like, Nick, for example, would definitely be excited about a freshwater ray. But I'm really surprised at how many people are like, yes! Rays! Freshwater rays! So that made me really happy to see so many of you so enthusiastic about the natural world. Also, what the heck? What the heck a doodle do? There's light down there. There's there's a tunnel down here. There's a sheep down there. Huh. Well, there's something under this mountain. We will have to investigate that in the future. Because I didn't know that. Alright, so whoops, I used the wrong kind of lantern. Well, darn it. At least we lit the area up. That's what counts. Alright, let's go ahead and get inside. Whoops, got a little turned around. And let us trade for peafowl food. Hello, Shimmer, and let's collect the peafowl eggs. Hello, Ada! Our very first peafowl from whom all of these babies opal. Oh, and hello, hello, uh, messenger. Who has just laid a vulture egg right into my hands. That is awesome. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and trade these. I think I have some more. Oh my gosh, we will be rich. I forgot, well, I'm gonna keep a couple stacks of peafowl eggs just in case. You never know what, may, what horrible thing may happen. And I'm gonna put the vulture egg away. And let's come over to Keeper Ethan. Hello, Keeper Ethan! I have brought thee some geishal greens. And let's see, I've got a little bit of lettuce that I collected. So Keeper Ethan, we give all this stuff to him, like the steamed peas, so that we have uh, food for the peafowl, which include the raw snails and nether wart and wild rice and things like that. And then we've also got the peafowl eggs that we give to him. At this rate, I think peafowl eggs are probably not going to be worth 16, <laughs> 16 experience because they're, they're a lot easier to get than you'd think after a while. So we'll probably have that slow down as time goes on. There we go. And we've got a bazillion and a half little XP points now to go trade in. And we even have sugar canes. I think I'm going to keep this for my personal sugar stores, though. Because between trying to make sweets for my friends and um, primrose, I need a lot of sugar. All right, let's come down here to our Dodo ATM. Hello, Dodo ATM. And I'm just going to go ahead and trade across for wooden coins, just like so, because this is called getting my paycheck. We had a lot of, we have a lot of, like, money right now, but that's also because we had a lot of eggs. Oh, and look, we picked another one up just while we walked out. That's funny. And I don't think the eggs are going to give as much experience, or, yeah, as much experience pretty soon. Oops, I don't need to shop at your place. All right, actually, I'm going to come down here, because I hear that Flavia actually mixes up the better of the two drinks. And so let's get some Blossom Bloom Tea. And I'm going to share six cups of Blossom Bloom Tea with Ben. And then we'll get um, a couple cups of Bird of Paradise, a couple Peace Lily Teas, and I want to get... Um, a couple frozen peafowl espressos and maybe a couple bamboo basket rice and mushroom jungle risotto and then uh, maybe something sweet like there's the bathing pear and yeah we'll get we'll get well two tail lettuce wraps actually sound really fun so we'll get some of those and then let's get some tarts so maybe six tarts yeah we'll get six tarts and we spent all our money but i'm really excited because we have presents for our friend and when you guys see why we got these presents so that we can say thank you so much for sharing this amazing build with us you're just going to be stunned because the build i can't even begin to describe what has been constructed it's amazing all right let me get ugh, poo yuck i've got like random bird eggs everywhere now <laughs> i'm just gonna hold on to this peafowl egg all right put these away um, put the stick away for now. All right, and let's go into the, let's just go ahead and put down, I need to put down this bright green grass. Whoops, I'm going to grab these while we're in here because I need these for the kitchen. Whoops, and a grate, please. 
But let's go put the bright green grass down inside. Dun dun dun! The hummingbird aviary! Where I'm going to be building a secondary, like, entrance piece. Alright. Bright green grass right there. Zinnia, I need to light this place up just a wee bit more, my dear, I think. But otherwise, it's doing really well. Good. Alright, everybody stay. Good. Alright, come along, pup pups. So, we're gonna go home and we're going to go through the teleportation device. So, we're gonna teleport over to Ben's land. And then I'm gonna show you guys what I'm so excited about. The absolutely stunning creation that he has made. It has changed. What he, the way he's built it and what he has built has 100% changed my idea of how I want to design our zoo forever and ever and ever in the future. And it's going to be amazing. Alright, can I stop real quick for a quick couple of... There we go. Quick couple of drinks. And let's keep moving. Do, 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 do. Do 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 I really need to light this place up more. And up my mossy tree that's also sunflower's tree. Which also needs to be lit up and I really need to make them a nest. Man, it is just there's always so much to do. I don't think I can ever really sing the little song enough. There's always so much to do in the zoo. Because there is <laughs> There is, and I always feel so behind on everything, and it, then to keep up with everything that, darling, to keep up with everything that people are building, it's just amazing, and so much fun. I'm going to put this away, and let me put the sugar cane away real quick. I know, I brought some sugar home, some sugar home primrose, and I need to update so many things. Do I have anything else? I'm gonna need to like rifle through this. All right, I'm gonna take a sign so I can leave a sign behind and be like, "This is amazing," um, because that's the polite thing to do when you're really like cooing over someone's bills. I'm gonna take a chest. Oh, I need to make. Let me take one ink sack and a feather, and I need to get a book. Um. Oh, darn to the buckets! I just used up the. I just used up the sugar cane, but I feel like I need to leave him a note so he knows how awesome I think everything is. Um, that's a written book. Um, I do have... I do have leather in here somewhere. I know I do. I just put some leather away. Alright, there's some leather right there. And then I just need some paper, and I can actually make paper. Hang on, puppies. I can actually make paper. I need to make a whole bunch of books. That's my problem. So that we can like leave notes for my friends and be like, wow, your build's amazing. But we can make paper out of the wild rice. So making rice paper actually feels very appropriate for what we're about to do. All right, there we go. We're just gonna make all of that into paper. And then, let's see, I'm trying to remember books. It's like that, like that. We now have two books. No, just one book, because I only had one leather. And then we add a feather. And the ink sack, and yay, now we have a book and quill. Oh, thank goodness. That makes me very happy. All right, I'm just going to throw these in here. And come over here and throw these in here. Uh, not the Cassia tart, I meant. All right, there we go. There we go. And I'll get my food separated from the food we're leaving as gifts, which is all this stuff. There we go. All right, you guys, I need to get my kimono. I need to get my kimono and then I am going to show off to you guys the amazing, amazing place that Ben has made. Alright, let me put that there. Alright, darling. Mwah. We should go on a date there one day, darling. I think that would be amazing. Yeah, actually, this is probably going to be one of the, like, national places to visit in, in all of, um, in all of, all of Zudasia, honestly. It's that amazing. It really is. Alright, no mail. So let's keep going. And up we go. Alright, over to Ben's home. Oh, I need to get the dogs. Alright, there's Ash. What? Puppies? No! There you go. Pine, if hungry puppies are hungry, you just gotta let mom know. There you go. Sorry, puppies. Alright, let me get you guys in Safari Nuts real quick. Do do do. Maybe we'll do a little exploring around Ben's territory tomorrow. That might be kind of fun. Alright. Ash, come. Ash, you are indeed. Yeah, look at my face. This silly puppy. He is so my little challenging pup pup. All right. And off to Ben's home. Do do do. And then we're going to put on the kimono. And 
There we go. Look at this. Look at this. And now I'm going to escort you guys to the beautiful new place that Ben has built in his home, which I predict will be one of the places that we shall visit quite often. Like I said, we might have a side quest where I take Darling on a little date down there. And let's go. So as you can see, he has plenty and plenty of tea bushes growing right next to this nether hub. Who knows how that affects the quality of the tea, but he is not suffering for lack of tea. Oh, that's fine. I'm sure that's just a dinosaur noise. We shouldn't panic. And then, oh my goodness. Okay. Is that the cassowary? I do believe this is a cassowary egg. Oh my, don't mind me. Okay, this isn't alarming at all. All right, we're going to come in and stay away from the cassowary since they aren't exactly the safest things to, to run up against. But then we follow the little path up here. And first things first, you guys, look at this roof. Like, look at this roof. Look at the detailing on this roof. This is handmade. So before you guys start asking, where can I download it? This is a handmade roof that he has created. And inside, oh my gosh, down some stairs. It's the most beautiful place ever. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted, you guys. And I know this would be naughty of me to go ahead and just say, okay, wait till tomorrow. I'm going to give you guys a peek because we are running out of time. I'm going to give you guys a little peek. And then tomorrow we will explore it in depth. And we will see what secret presence he has left for us. So we continue down the hallway. Nope, open up, open up doors. And the sliding doors are everywhere. Are you guys curious yet? We continue down. And there's some more doors. There's some more beautiful paintings on the walls. It's very, very lovely. All right, are you guys ready for this? Are you ready? Here we go. 